with KHO and two weather, Kamaka Pili. Welcome to the weekend. It was a beautiful day to start off this weekend, but it's going to close off on a completely different note, especially for the west end of the islands. Here on Oahu, we're going to start off tomorrow, and this is going to be similar for most of the islands. Start off tomorrow with very light shower activity, partly cloudy skies, only to significantly jump up by tomorrow evening. Rain chances for areas are going to start to jump up to more occasional showers. That's the 80 up to 100% chance. Some of those also will be jumping up in terms of isolated uh, thunderstorm activity. That's going to be 10 up to 20% chances, mainly again for the West End, starting at around 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. And that then will be taking us into the next couple days ahead. So threats will be start to be elevated, but that will really start to build by tomorrow evening. Again, we have that flood watch that is posted, but that will be going into effect starting tomorrow evening. And that will take us into Tuesday, at least for now. And that's encompassing, again, all the islands. And that will uh, bring, this, really speaking of, we are going to be potentially seeing some rounds of heavy activities so now's the time to get prepared the main threat with this is going to be flooding especially for roadways and low-laying areas in terms of the surf and ocean conditions four to six footers coming down up north and the east one to three for the west and down on the south again the biggest thing we're going to start to see first is an increase of clouds and we're also going to start to see our winds shift out of our favor that will then actually start to strengthen to breezy conditions as we get into the new week of course again the shower activity a uh, widespread shower activity and that could potentially lead to about a half an uh, inch and a half up to two inches in terms of widespread flooding and again that chance of thunderstorm activity and that will be taking us at least for the first half of this upcoming week only then to be uh, replaced by another storm system that's really going to reinforce this first one and that will be starting to play a part in the second half of this upcoming week so in terms of the timeline fast forward to eight o'clock tomorrow morning beautiful conditions that will only then to deteriorate as we get into the uh, evening hours for Kauai following then Oahu and throughout the midnight hours we start to move over to Molokai and Lanai throughout the early morning hours and then start to get to Maui uh, in the around eight o'clock time but at the same time that's when we're starting to see more intense activity following that and this will then continue to move down towards the east we should start to see this particular system start to deteriorate around Wednesday evening into Thursday but then as we see this leeward uh, rain chance model it starts to then bump back up by Thursday into Friday and that's going to be that second system that we're uh, talking about starting to form and that could bring back the heavy shower activity thunderstorms and even gustier and stronger winds so what we're going to be seeing at least for the next couple days is the clouds will start to build again wind speeds that's going to be the biggest change we're going to start southerly winds tomorrow more southwesterly winds as we get through the heaviest in terms of this first round of wet weather Monday into Tuesday start to ease off a little bit as we get into Wednesday and then start to bump back up again as we get into the second storm system. We'll keep your eyes on how this develops. Be sure to download that KHON2 mobile app and subscribe to those push alerts if you haven't already done so.